Alright, this is Prayer of the Faithless. It was, it was released a, a bit recently, but I didn't really get around to it until now. Music's a bit on the loud side. I'll have to look for the options menu. Commander Vanessa, eight years has, has been since you joined our ranks, and yet you still haven't learned the basic courtesy of knocking on the door before bumbling in? My sincerest apologies, Commandant. The subtle mannerisms of humans still elude me from time to time. So, so you say literally every single time you barge in here. At any rate, I wish you a good morning, Com Commandant Vanessa. Morning, you say? To be honest, I can't even tell what time of day it is anymore. I look out the window and all I see is the end of the world. You did everything you could, you know that, right? Even I, born raised in this fog, understand very little about it. Well, was that supposed to make me feel better? This fog that covers our world may be harmless to you, mana, but to us humans, it is a poison that slowly destroys our bodies from the inside out. That is, if the monsters born from it don't tear us apart first. If we can't stop the fog at its source, then our next step is to figure out how to survive within it. Until that happens, then they will not give up the fight. Not while I still draw breath. I have not forgotten, Vanessa. As always, I will be right here by your side. Not only myself, but the rest of the a solid knights have been preparing for this battle ever since you took over. When the time comes, we will fight back with everything we have. So perhaps you can take a few moments now to rest. We cannot have you looking tired and weary in front of the knights. Especially when they are about to join our ranks. Not in the castle. No one else has seen him either. Where are you, Ayer? Prayer of the Faithless. Is this a tutorial area? Hmm, back here again. That, that person looks like a serial killer. Hey, look who finally came out of hiding. The master of the haunted dream house once again decides to invite me. His honored guest over for some quality playtime after such a long break. Seriously, it's been a while, hasn't it? You used to bring me here once a month, but it's been what, three months? Four? I've lost count. You're as tragic as ever, I see. A decent host would put in a little more effort to entertain their guests. Fine, have it your way. Guess I'll make the rounds myself then. I just hope you have something interesting for me after all this time. Okay, need to... Uh, is there no way to set the volume here? Oh, shoot. I can't save here either. Guide. Screen settings. Hmm. Okay, this is supposed to have a fairly complicated system. Stamina points. This affects the character's actions, likelihood of being targeted, and amount of damage reduced from enemy attacks. So it's not just a resource system, but it can also make you weaker if you have less of it, I guess? Hmm. That reminds me a bit of, of that Izuna roguelike game. Run out of stamina and you're pretty much screwed. Power. Raw offensive power. Okay. Skill. Dexterity. Affects crit, crit, crit rate and graze rate. What the heck is graze rate? Is that like missing but still inflicts damage? Increases chance of inflicting ailments. Chances increased based on the attacker's skill relative to the target's skill. Armor, the physical defense of a character. This reduces damage from all physical attacks. Psyche, the mental fortitude of a character. This reduces all damage from magic. Hmm. But power affects both physical and magic. Hit, percent chance of a physical attack hitting an enemy. Critical. Percent chance that a physical attack will inflict a critical hit unless already affected by skill stat check. Hmm. 
Grace, percent chance of physical attack will graze an enemy and inflict minimal damage. I see. That way, even if you get unlucky, your attack is not completely wasted. Counter. Chance of the physical attack will be nullified, inflicting damage on the attacker instead. Target rate. Can percent chance the character will be targeted by an enemy attack if the character is at full SP. Pharmacology. Percent of healing I am affecting this. Hmm. Enemy info. Press shift to look at their stats versus concurrently controlled character stats. Hmm. Yeah, I heard this is a really difficult game because you have to worry about resources. Critical hits increase the amount of damage you would have otherwise inflicted and causes the target to stagger. Then they'll be open to even more damage. Also guarantee infliction of status ailments sides your current attack slash drive. Hmm. World. Deep beneath the surface of the earth, miasma boils and turns like magma without heat, leaking through the earth like an open wound. This toxic substance bur burps monsters that seek out and consumes all living beings, unfortunate enough to come in contact with it. No one knows what the, the origins of miasma for it dates back far beyond recorded history. However, its very existence is a threat to humanity. No one has been able to eliminate it. Hmm. Sixteen years ago, the miasma began a strange and horrifying change. What has always been a liquid substance began to morph into a more gaseous form and leak out from the underneath the surface at an alarming rate. The point of origin has been determined to be a location on the center of the world map known as Purgatory, but has now been completely consumed by this fog, and no human has walked its grounds in over a decade. Even if there was a way to stop the problem at its source, it is now impossible to do so. A human can breathe in small quantities of fog and come out okay. However, while it varies depending on the natural existence of a human, immersion for more than a week is known to cause extreme nausea and hallucinations. Immersion for over a fortnight puts the human beyond the point of saving. Their mind frays and dissolves, leaving nothing left but a berserking monster. The fog has already covered the entire world, destroying most natural life, and causing drastic temperature drops globally. No human has ever seen the sun in over a decade. Even if the fog was somehow stopped, the world has already been thrown so far out of balance that it would take countless generations to restore the cycle of nature. Even then, the extinction of certain plants and animals means that the once normal way of life has been forever lost to time. Last Prophecy not long after the emergence of the fog, all our calls those gifted with the ability to tell prophecy suddenly lost their powers. Recently, however, that single sentence uttered by an unassuming young priestess in the Eastern Empire of Virgio pierced that deafening silence. The lost prophecy quickly spread around the world, and now the people live in fear of yet another harbinger of humanity's final days. I'm guessing that prophecy says, you're, sc you're doomed. No nothing can change this outcome. After a human dies, it's said the body can be possessed by a demon of a strong enough grudge against the world. If that happens, the human will return to mortal world. It's a false life, however, as what makes the as was, what walks the earth is no human, but a revenant, devoid of all emotions except for an eternally insatiable bloodlust. When revenants possess while well, revenants possess inhuman power and speed, what truly makes them the stuff of nightmares is their power to drain away a living being's soul fire, the physical manifestation of their psyche. Once strained, revenants can use soul fire as a weapon, or even to restore their lost strength and vitality, essentially making them virtually indestructible. As powerful as they are, revenants still retain their human body. Severing the head or piercing the heart should be enough to kill it. Without a soul for the demon to corrupt, the rampage of this revenant ends along with their life. Hmm. Could air be infected by a revenant uh, or demon? Training blade and bandages. Windbreaker. 18 SP. That's... So how do I recover SP again? Shift to analyze enemies, okay. Resistance to fear. Hmm. Unbroken. Before taking their first human life, warriors have a hesitancy that leads to 10% drop in all stats and 90% drop to earned EXP. So in other words, I have to kill a human to remove this this penalty passive. I have no items, no resources, and no way to save. Hmm. Okay. I know how to move. Hmm. All the statues are shining. Is that a save point? Yes. Hmm. Apparently there's... Uh, the, the endings are so co convoluted that the uh, developer made a guide for it. So the the basic gist is that if you want to get the the the, the, the endings depend on how closely you make the you make everyone stay in character. 
And there's pretty much, w and they actually tell you the exact events. I think everyone gets free events to work, uh, to determine how in character they are. Re uh, each time they act in character for those events, they get a resolve point. Uh, yeah, it's good. that means it could take a lot of playthroughs. I hope... Is there a difficulty setting? It doesn't look like you can actually change anything in this game. No volume options, no difficulty options. I think volume options would at least be a thing, though. Most RPG Maker games are supposed to have it. The warrior without power cannot change the world. So no idea what the session is supposed to hold. I've never seen... Uh, been able to find it. I don't have any items to place. What the heck? The, okay... Sasha should be holding a book. Once I find it, I'll wake up like always. Not even gonna look at me, huh? Just gonna keep standing there, looking creepy. Hmm. Seriously, man, you need to find a better hobby. A book? Okay, what about you? Small caps are nothing to one truly determine. Continue forward, uh, uh, walking forward to automatically jump across any small space. Hmm, that's a little bit like Golden Sun. You can jump small gaps, okay? If you see a rope or brightly colored rocks on the edge of a cliff or wall, then you can most likely jump uh, climb it by moving towards it. Brightly colored rocks. Sometimes you may co uh, come across hazardous terrain that requires careful movement to circumvent. So you have to walk, but is there a way to turn off auto dash? Seriously, you think these settings would be. Uh, uh, are, su are supposed to be staples in RPG Maker games, but I guess not. Huh. Very weird design choices. First aid kit. The world is a cruel place that consumes many who lose the will to continue. To survive, I had to scavenge from those who lost the will to continue. Uh, what about you? So many paths. This... This tutorial dungeon looks pretty intimidating. We'll use this power to change the world if you lack knowledge directing your hand. To change without understanding is an invitation to disaster. Can I fall down this hole? No. There are many broken, chipped, and otherwise destroyed sections of the stone wall. However, one name is clearly undamaged. Fane Wilder. I see my old man is just as popular with this silent freak as always. Seems people who kill royalty and cause their son's endless amount of grief strike a chord of this guy. I hope you're happy wherever you are, Dad, because you've sure made my life miserable. I wish the knights didn't hang you just so I could break your face in myself. Huh. Okay. I cannot leave through here. This door seems to be locked. Ugh, I have to get two items. But I'm nervous. Even, even with these resources, I don't know if I can win. This game is intimidatingly difficult, I heard. I can't jump this gap. Huh? This one's not jumpable either. The gap is too big for me. But no, wait. Here. There's the gap. Gotta remember, I can jump over to chairs t like that too, huh? Uh. Oh, wow. This is all... This dungeon is not very linear, even though it's supposed to be the first one, is it? Hmm. I can only jump side gaps. And I've seen that paladin lady before, didn't I? A bookcase. This wasn't here every time I've been to this place. Hmm. Her without purpose sets one down the road of the nihilist. Just that same phrase over and over again each page. Whatever, I'll have to take it with me anyway. If I can remember correctly, this thing goes into one of the statues back in the center of this place. Book of Wisdom? But what was that? Uh, those two doors? I have a feeling I won't be able to explore this place all at once. It's probably something I'll have to slowly explore over the course of the game. Yeah, I won't be able to get there yet. Maybe this bookcase will disappear someday. Maybe I'll be able to talk to those people over there too. Before that, I should probably continue this way. 
I don't, there has to be one more item I can place. Oh, okay. Supplies? First aid kit? There has to be a battle in here, otherwise it, it wouldn't make sense. That door looks scary. This is where my room would be if we were in the, a norm, the normal castle. What's the deal with that? My, why is my room the only one like this? I mean, it's great to have a fan club, but I just wish it consisted of more than a creepy, silent demon that forces me into these weird dreams. Does anyone else know about his current condition? Okay. There must be a fight ahead of giving me so many items, right? Death is the fate of fools who do not think before striking. The more you attack, the more vulnerable you will be. SP and guard break. If I run out of SP, then I become vulnerable. Okay. In order to inflict damage on an enemy, it is necessary to attack their SP first. Guard break tag. Will directly reduce the SP pull by a certain amount that varies per ability. Hmm. But my, if my stamina drops too low, what? how do I increase my stamina low? Do I just defend? Oh, oh. Help me. Time for the first battle. Is that a piece of armor? Well, this is new. I've never seen a person here before. At least not a creepy replica of a human. Hey, are you okay? Who is that? The face, Fane Wilder. Oh, great. I really look like dear old dad to you. Well, I'm not him. Trust me when I say I'm not his biggest fan either. You say you're his son? Yeah, finally someone willing to listen. You'd be surprised how many people assume I'm some psychotic murderer just because my dad was. Stay away from me. Never mind, just when I found someone who didn't fall back on stupid family traditions. Don't act friendly towards me. You're just the same as your father. Yeah, yeah, keep covering your ears and ignoring me. You're just like every other knight. So caught up in your stupid traditions that you won't listen to anything I have to say. This is only a dream. You'll wake up soon enough. Until then, just stay away from me. Unforgivable. Ah, so you're my tutorial boss. You cannot be allowed to live. Offshoots of a rotten tree must be uprooted. What the hell's the matter with you? Are you trying to pick a fight? You have to die. Huh? Ah! Ah, shit. Can I at least pick up that piece of purple armor? I feel like I'd have a more sporting chance if I did. Whoa, whoa, what the hell's going on with you? Uh... Focus. X tactics. What does that do? Fight. Drive. I don't want to use up my SP yet. Does windbreaker guard break? Yes, it does. What does draw weapon do? No, it lets me change my equipment if I need to. Drive windbreaker. I want to destroy their. SP, but it also takes a lot out of my SP. I don't know if that's a good idea. And why are there three hexagons on there? Is that part of a combo of some sort? Windbreaker! He lost a lot of SP from that, but I did too. Is that even worth the cost if we're both down in SP already? Focus! I can't use it again, even though I have a lot enough SP to do so. The heck? Is, it, is there a cooldown on this? Grazed? My SP refilled. But his did too. His Okay, his guard's down. But I can't use Windbreaker again. I have to use a normal attack. hey ya. I'm low on SP though. I need a guard. He he did the same thing. Copycat. Damn, it does a lot of damage even with my guard. No, wait, I get three actions per turn until he doesn't get. 
I see those those sacks of the guns are actually my per number of actions per turn. The reason I wasn't able to use Windbreaker was because it was I, I already used up my combo. Oh, this is a complicated battle system. Oof, now that's why I call it Clutch Win. You didn't even have anything to give. Piss off. Ugh, oh, this is difficult. Having only one party member and ha having to figure out this weird combo system. Did I just kill a person? No, no, that wasn't a human. Not anymore, at least. What's this? Did it come out from the monster? Broken Sword of Power? It's rusty and dull. I don't think I can use this. What's this thing supposed to do? Well, it doesn't matter right now. The spook quest just got a lot less fun. All right, you Melface Freak, you and I are going to have a nice little chat about all this. If that was a real person you've dragged here, just like you did to me, we're going to have a problem. The horn discuss of killing a person that's fractured, unbroken, uh, 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 airs unbroken mind, eliminating the 10% penalty to all stats, enabling them to earn full XP from battle. Oh, I did a pretty poor job of that battle. High aggression and bluntness comes into play in this battle style. Lacking any real desire for elaborate techniques and complicated styles, Air chooses to focus on damage, damage, and always and ways to inflict more damage. He has high power stats to inflict high damage, even meaning even enemies of full stamina will still feel the effects of one of his attacks. However, his psyche is lacking, so he must be wary against opponents wielding magic. You're the book guy. Place item. Book of Wisdom. Okay, I'm gonna give you the sword. That should be it, right? I hope I didn't screw myself over in terms of resources already. I didn't fight that battle as efficiently as I could. I had no idea what I was doing. Powerful purpose sets one down the road of the Nihilist. Power, purpose without power sets one down the road to feeble. Hey, who's looking at the eyes of the demon and weighing you? Neither power nor purpose can be found if you back bulk from his gaze. Something's popped up behind me. I didn't heal yet. Shit. You know, I was starting to think you were just a creepy looking guy with poor taste in interior decorating. That's why I've been putting up with this place for so long. But it turns out you're just as twisted as you look, after all. Guess I only have myself to blame for trying to uh, not to judge people by their appearance. It's okay, big guy. I'm sure you're a poor, lonely demon who wants some friends to play with. Totally understandable. Well, sorry, but this whole evil, demonic realm setup you've got going on here just isn't doing it for me anymore. I'd much prefer a nicer, more quiet place to relax. So it's time for a change of scenery. Your haunted house tour is closing down. You want to do this the easy way or the hard way? I should have healed. Hey, I was hoping you'd turn out this way. Is that a... Hellspawn? Well, you're just full of surprises, aren't you? First you bring me into this creepy realm, now you're taking the form of a supposedly immortal monster. Well, fine, Hellspawn human, wherever you are. If you have a face, I'll gladly stomp it in for you. Come and get me, you freak. Okay, I, I, I actually restarted off screen to, just to heal up to... Eight, uh, to it's back to 80. I was already at 50%, almost 50% anyways. A little over 50%, but I don't think it's gonna matter too much, right? Okay, let's start off with Windbreaker. And then focus to keep myself guarded. Okay, no need to heal just yet. I'll do it once I actually get dip below 50. I already know this guy's damage range. As long as I keep my focus, uh, my uh, stamina up, I should be fine. If he's at no stamina, I don't. I think he's going to try to recover rather than attack. So I should be safe. So you're gonna make me work for this one, aren't you? Come on, what's so bad about flying solo? Believe me, crowds aren't as comforting as they're made out to be. But you really want to let loose. And let's go wild. 
Air learned love of lonesome. With it, his parameters are boosted while he is fighting alone. It seems similar to Nocturne Rebirth's uh, falling star formation. I'm um, fired up now. Don't hold back now, because I sure as hell won't. Joy. Hmm. I still have over 50%, but I need to get more focus, huh? Does it cost anything to change my equipment in battle? They need to clarify this. Okay, now is a good time to do a little bit of healing. Windbreaker! Normal attack. Focus! Okay, I almost got him. I only had to use like one first aid kit, so that... Uh, well, two uh, for, uh, for the one I used before the battle. So I think I did fair, this fairly efficiently. You're vulnerable now. Hiya! I think that's as good as a victory as I can hope for. Now that's what I call a good workout. I should have done this a long time ago. Well, you were fun for a while, but now it's time to say bail. Goodbye, haunted house. Uh, just like in the Trail series, the enemy has plot stamina. Huh? Gah! Well, man, I've heard of recurring dreams, but well, that just felt too real. I've had a dream countless times before, but not once has anything like that happened. What in the world is going on? Maybe it means the demon inside him is closer to p possessing him than before. Well, I'm not getting anywhere just standing here. I need to get back to the palace. The proving is starting soon, and I need to be there. Why are, why the heck are you camping all the way, way out here alone? I didn't keep any of my items because they were all in a dream. Kind of like in... Capella's promise. They actually have a little dream area where you can uh, uh, where you can open chests as a part of a tutorial, but you get to keep nothing because it's a dream. Hmm. Really, you need to put in a volume control f uh, 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 menu here. That's so such a basic quality of life feature that almost every VX Ace game should have. That's so weird. I, I guess I take it for granted because maybe m most of the games I played actually have it. Hmm. Yeah, I guess, well, at the very least, if they're going to take away all my items anyways. It doesn't really matter how well I use my resources in that tutorial dungeon, as long as I get the job done. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Prayer of the Faithless. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.